Okay. Then I'm going to speak uh, about the skill grouper and the story in uh, in France. And um, at the beginning, just uh, one information about the context. Uh, you know, everybody know that in Mediterranean Sea and all over the world, uh, we are going to 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 have a, a large decrease of biodiversity of marine biodiversity due to the pollution, due to the overfishing. The artificial artificialization. Uh, we are we have lost a lot of uh, natural habitat, and uh, due to also the the climate change. And uh, why we are uh, interested by the by the group? Uh, it's because, uh, as you have seen uh, on the previous uh, presentation, uh, this uh, species is um, is um, the level is the high level in the trophic web web chain and you have an ecosystem in a good state. It means that it's also a bio indicator of, um, of the ecosystem than a bio indicator species. In France, the, the situation was, uh, was very complex. Uh, at the beginning, in the last century, the middle of the last century, it was very easy to, to see a lot of grouper. When you, you, you dived, it was possible to see more than uh, 50, 50 grouper. But at the end of the last century, century um, there is a, a large decline of uh, French population due to overfishing, especially by spearfishing and uh, by artisanal fishery. And uh, at the end, uh, we have only uh, 40 individuals stay in the marine reserve of Banyuls. It's close to, to Spain, to close to Perpignan. And in the national park of uh, Porcro, uh, close to Marseille. Then very, very few individu individuals, sorry, due to also because uh, during the reproduction, there is some aggregation and they are very sensible to the fishing activity during this uh, spawning season. Then for, for France, the situation was very, very critical and with a possible extinction of this, uh, this species. Then we decide to, uh, to try to help this, uh, this species and how to protect them. Uh, first of all, uh, we create this uh, group this NGO association, the group of uh, uh, grouper study group uh, in English, uh, it was in uh, 86. And during this uh, long period, we, we made a lot of action. The first action was, oh, sorry, uh, just to, to present uh, before the, um, the interest of this, uh, this group. Uh, the objective is study and survey population. Uh, not only the dusky grouper, but all groupers are present in the Mediterranean Sea, but also the Siena Umbra. And we are very interested by their ecosystem to not only to protect the grouper and the, the brown meg, but also the ecosystem associated. And the objective is to increase knowledge for better management and environmental education. Uh, we, are, we are about... Uh, 150 members coming from uh, 20 countries. Um, they are manager of MPA, marine scientists like me, diver, free diver, include, including spear fishermen, photographer, journalists, teachers. And the objectives, the first objective um, concern the visual census of population. We do that in all MPA along the French coast. And we estimate uh, the number of individuals, and but also uh, we evaluate the size. It's very important to to follow the de demographic structure. And uh, uh, in parallel of this action that we do in uh, every three years uh, in each MPA, we we make some uh, scientific project, uh, especially with the. Uh, scientists from a laboratory of CNRS or a university, different university along the, the coast. And for example, I show you some results about uh, acoustic tagging. We put some, uh, some tag on uh, several individuals and we follow them with some hydrophone. And the objective was to, 
uh, estimate the individual daily space used during uh, during a, a long period, and it, it was made in the no-take zone of Banyuls, close to uh, close to Perpignan. And you can see that uh, we have uh, identified male and the territory of male uh, cross never never cross. Uh, it means that very the male are, are very territorial and exclude each male from the from the space. But when you, when you see the result for the female, it's totally different. They can cross all space of male, and it's uh, it's true for every individual that we have follow. It means that the carrying capacity um, of a space of a, of the this note zone is defined by male. It means also that if you eliminate big male, you are going to stop the recolonization because if the old female that uh, uh, won't change the sex and became a male, they have to leave this, uh, this uh, space, this zone, and they are colonized outside. And if you kill the male, you, you can stop this recolonization. And with all this data, we are uh, we are start some discussion with the French administration of C to try to promote uh, some protection. And we we are uh, we are agree we are, we are created with the French administration the moratorium. It means that spear fishing, recreational fishing, and uh, uh, professional fishing by hook uh, became uh, forbidden. For uh, for five years of the the period along the French coast, the, the French coast, especially outside MPA. And the moratorium started in uh, eighty three and was evaluated every five years. But in uh, in uh, two thousand thirteen, uh, French administration decided to extend the validity to ten years because the population density was very low. And you can see that uh, we don't follow only the um, Epinephilus marginatus, the Duskel grouper, but it concerns all grouper that are present in, um, along our coast. But the, um, there is other tools to, to protect grouper. It is the, the marine protected area. And you can see here that the, the, um, the the site of uh, the, the marine reserve of uh, Banyuls, close to, um, to Perpignan. And in this MPA, you have a refuge effect. It means that you have uh, fishes larger, the high density of fish, and also a high biodiversity. And uh, at the end, an exportation of biomass outside the, the MPA. And the, you can see the, the no-take zone MPA located here in a small, small place where all activities are forbidden, diving, fishing, the speedboat are limited. And in the buffer zone, you are only the spear fishing forbidden, but professional fishing are very limited, only 10, 10 fishermen. But it means that in this buffer zone, there is an activity of professional fishing. And what what we have observed on uh, our coast, uh, I speak about success story because, because you, you, you can see that um, in our case, we can observe a large increase of population. The, the first curve is the total observation um, around the, the, the MPA. And you can see uh, we start in uh, 86 until uh, until uh, three years ago, and you can see there is an increase of the of the population. It's interesting to to show that the the MPA no take zone have a, an interesting effect because this is the historical site where you can find some grouper. But the buffer zone is also interesting in this place where we can uh, do a fishing activity. Due to the moratorium, you have an increase of the population. And it's interesting to see that at this date, there is a, a better increase in the buffer zone than in the no-take zone. It means that the moratorium are a very good uh, consequence 
on the fish population, on the grouper population. Outside, we have no observation because it's very difficult to see them because they're, they are in a hole and, uh, and our uh, techniques are limited to see them. But we have some information from dive center, give us some position outside the buffer zone and the MPA. And actually, we, tr we, we work on the to develop a citizen science uh, to integrate information coming from this uh, diver center on from uh, every divers um, diving uh, in this uh, in this place. The second interesting uh, thing is that uh, at the beginning, the the reproduction site was uh, located in the MPA in the no take zone, but rapidly, not, not rapidly, sorry, in 20 years, uh, now we can observe a second, a second spawn, spawning site. And it's very, very interesting for us. It means that the density is sufficient to uh, generate this new site. And this new site is due to also uh, to the moratorium. And it's interesting to, uh, to show this information to the French administration to, for the evaluation. But as I write, uh, this observation was obtained after 20 years of moratorium. The restoration of uh, grouper population need time, as you, you, you can see. But the ecological success is it's also an economical benefit for diver center, artisanal fishermen, tourists, by the reserve effect uh, due to the no take zone. Uh, especially, uh, you can see on this map the location of uh, fisherman net. And you can see that there is a, 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 an increase of, uh, um, of fishing site just close to the, to the no take zone because there is a, a lot of fish and there is a, a, a benefit directly for the, for the fisherman. For the dive center, they have more diver in the in the center because everybody wants to see some some grouper and they are coming especially in Banyuls sur Mer in the south of France uh, close to Spain to see this uh, this individual. It means that there are many people in restaurant in hotel and it's very uh, very positive for uh, for the major of the of the town. Actually, next step. Uh, next step, we continue our work because the, the actual moratorium will finish in uh, 23, and uh, we have only two years to, um, to obtain some data about the, the population. But during these 10 years, the GEM worked a lot. We made a lot of survey in, in uh, each MPA for, uh, in France. And we do uh, some scientific study. I show you some acoustic tagging results, but we have also biophony because grouper makes noise and it's uh, another uh, tool to detect them when the visual census is difficult. And it's with these techniques, we observe more individuals outside the, the no-take zone and the buffer zone. And it means also that the, the moratorium uh, have a good effect on that. Then on the base of the scientific data and the public inquiry, French administration will decide to maintain or to stop the moratorium. Then the GEM contributes in this decision. Then we, we have to uh, increase our knowledge. And um, in two years, we are going to present this to the French administration. And uh, last week, it was the um, general um, uh, assembly of uh, METPAM. It's the, um, the network of all MPA in, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. And the objective is to increase no tech zone because actually the, it's about 0.8% uh, of the, uh, the, the marine uh, area protected by no tech zone. And we need more to, to produce um, this positive aspect on group air population, but also on fish, uh, in general, fish population. Thank you very much. And I'm ready for the question.